I am super tired. All of that wood right there is from the deck and I have took a couple of weeks and there's some over there and um, took every single nail out of those boards. They're decking boards and right here is a flower little pot that is full of all of the nails that I have uh, removed and these are the few boards left because I'm going to need a um, crowbar to get those bigger nails out of those right there and I think these are some screws in these two by fours so but so far that is what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks is getting all of these boards ready for my new raised beds and so as I've took all the nails out I've just kind of leaned them against this building and I'm pretty sure that um, I'm not gonna be able to leave those like that for very long because my husband will start wanting me to move those so um, that means I'll need to get on it with the construction of my uh, raised bed on this side of the ditch. You can see where I've got the, some of the longer boards kind of stacked right there. And we're making this deck smaller and we're going to be moving this wall right here over to these new posts because we never really used this part of the deck over here anyway. And so over here in this corner, you can see a few boards that are left down, the decking boards. Um, that little corner, we're gonna use that instead of building a little place for my ducks. Um, that little area, we're gonna lower it to where it's not up as high. And that's where my duck's new little house is gonna be. And as soon as my husband's done with all of this construction, then we will be starting on that if he would actually if we could get it lowered i probably could go ahead and start on it myself um because i've got basically i've got plenty of wood where you know he's redone this whole entire you can see where he's redone all of the deck and boards up here and also by us going with a smaller like you know this right here not having this right here is going to save us money in the future because we won't that'll be boards that we won't have to replace and um so that's why we also went you know we're doing it a little smaller instead of coming all the way around i mean we don't go all the way around the pool you can see we just go on that one side and all of this right here, when it's moved, I will have like some raised beds and stuff and um, I'm not decided completely on what I'm going to grow there. I do have my um, my plum tree is right here and I do have my thornless blackberries right there. Um, but I don't know if I will leave them there with um, this new... Um, project that's going to be coming on. I may this fall move those to a different spot. Um, it's still um, undecided. I don't know. I may leave them. May not. I may move them to a different spot and just haven't decided yet. So, but so far that is what I am doing. And I, it's been a month since I've actually given y'all any kind of update on what we're doing out here because I've been so busy and. You can see my thornless blackberries are doing really good. They are blooming and starting to put off little blackberries. You can probably see some. There's one right there. Focus, focus. There. So, and then there's a, where'd it go? Bee. There's a bee. Just hanging and chilling with my thornless blackberries and I haven't seen any hummingbirds or anything out here and so far on my plum tree where did it go there's one there's two plums that I seen on this tree and uh, where did I see oh there it is one plum right there and the other one is 
right there. They're kind of hard to spot on here. Um, those are the two that I've spotted so far. So, but I've managed to already get the uh, green beans in the ground. These right here that are straight down through there, up front, the two front rows is the ones that I had planted in a little flower pot and started those and then this last row right here that's going down there the little strip of beans my sister over sprouted and she was you know she didn't want to like throw them away or anything and so she called me up and said hey come get these bean sprouts and so I had to kind of like really quickly you know find a spot here and so that's where they ended up there's two different kinds I'm not I can't remember I think she said King's Kitchen and um, rattlesnake green beans and so this is some extras that she had gave me and I just kind of threw them in here in this little pot and so I will put those in the ground just gotta find a spot um, I don't know if these because I wasn't sure what ones were survive I wasn't sure on which ones would survive so I just kind of like dug me a little trench down through here and threw them in the ground. I did go ahead and take up these rocks that were here that was like a pathway. And I just stacked them there because I'm going to do something else with those. And um, this garden, I'm going to take some of that wood and I'm actually going to box this on in on this side too. But I'm going to need to put a post in the ground right here because I want to put a, um, a board from this wall to that wall to kind of support it to keep it, you know, more pulled this way. And so I'm probably going to go too high because that over there is about too high on the end. And so I'll probably go too high on this, you know, with two boards. And so that is what I'm doing so far and you can hear my little ducklings this right mm -hmm. here is what I was talking about uh, it's got those little decking boards right there um, about over to there to that pole um, that pole over to that pole we're gonna lower that two by six so that it's not that high up off the ground and also i'll be able to walk inside um and tend to my ducks and stuff and then out this way i'll put like a little uh, another little deck area for their pond um, because their little water will get so messy and muddy and all of that will just you know run down here into whatever flower bed that i have right here and help water it so the water won't really get wasted wasted because it will be water in whatever garden that I have through here. So, win-win. So, um, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And um, I'm still cleaning up. You can see where I've started a little pile right there. All of that will be brought over here to this pile. And all of it will be burnt over here. Because I don't want to burn it close to that fence. So, um, it's coming along just slowly. And when you're trying to do something cheap and free, it's, you know, that's how it's done slowly. But it does get done. It does get done. And I hope y'all have a great day. Please like, subscribe. Bye, y'all.